Okay, sup, you chuckle fucks. It's your boy, Dark Raku here, with What If Issei Was Like Song Jun Woo, Part 2. Now, um, I would have done Part 2 yesterday. It's just, um, I was in the bathroom, probably because I ate something and I had it to take my man. I had it to take out the bathroom. Yeah, if, if you know what I mean, you know what I mean. Yeah, my stomach was hurting like how I... I couldn't re really record another video after doing the what's it called? What if Easy? Well, what if Easy was portrayed with reincarnation of Virgil and had the system? Uh, that one yesterday, I had to be in the bathroom for at least an hour, and I didn't get sleep that much. I don't, I only got like three hours of sleep, but yeah. So I'm probably dead ass tired and other things, but yeah. But that's not the point. Now siblings are actually about to get out of school. Mostly school's about to be over, and like mostly less than two days yeah or mostly today and tomorrow i don't know why school even did that it's, it's kind of like a stupid little fucking rule to do and that's just where i fucking live mostly school decides to like put two days left for um for for some fucking reason i have no fucking clue i hated that fucking rule uh, luckily i'm out of the school but right now uh, since i'm in a trade school i have to go through summer but yeah but that's not the point I am going to try to get a electrician job. If I if I can get an electrician job, then I'll be good. I'll be set because I'll get paid more money. But I'll also start learning how to wire stuff and other stuff. Even though I already know how to wire a lot of stuff, I still want to get more better experience, but that's not the point. Also, yes, I did just mention now what I'm actually going to go into trade. I really don't like mentioning out what I'm actually going to do most of the time. Mostly in my videos, I never mention why I go to trade school or what, uh, what I'm going to do or whatever. But I just mentioned right now, I am going to be an electrician. <laughs> that is not the point. It's mostly, there's a couple reasons I wanted to be an electrician. But mostly those uh, reasons are personal. So I'm just going to not mention it. Maybe I'll mention it later in different videos because I just like rambling on. Man, I should just go into fucking doing YouTube shorts and be like, man, I'm just gonna ramble out most of the damn time. But nah, I know people don't like, well, for me, I don't really like rambling on and just boring you guys. Because I have nothing to ramble on. Unless it's something specific in one of my fucking what ifs or videos or whatever. You get the point. So, not the point. I ramble on for two minutes. Let me begin to what if. So, we begin into Easy. AC right now is kind of going to school. Of course, he looks a little bit different, but that's just because he's actually been kind of working out a couple of days. He's been kind of just doing push-ups, sit-ups, crunches. The system, ha the system has been telling his ass to do all this shit. And he doesn't, like, hesitate. He doesn't hesitate like, like uh, Sanjin Wu in the beginning when Sanjin Wu didn't actually do those push-ups and other things. AC, on the other hand, he does them just because... The system makes it look fucking dope as hell. Of course, the stats is actually really cool. And also one thing, he loves the fact that he's no longer the old pirate dragon, but now the shadow dragon. Now, of course, this is where, well, that's not the point here or there, but yeah. Uh, wait. Stupid ant. Not the point. Uh, but of course, this is where, well, he kind of does the push-ups, sit-ups. He does it for like a couple of days. Now, of course, he doesn't show up for a couple of days of that school, but yeah. Now, he's right now in this, like, previous kind of, uh, mostly in this stage of kind of becoming similar look like, like, Sanjin Wu, but not really. What I'm actually talking about, I'm talking about like that. Mostly, his hair has become a little bit darker than normal. His eyes somewhat glow like a palish blue, but that's not the point. His skin has become tan, and he's much more, more ripped, but yeah. But this is where, well, Issei does kind of just, like, try to, well... Well, try to kind of, uh, well, keep kind of training, becoming stronger. And, of course, he still has that whole bet with Sir Orcus to kind of beat his ass. Now, of course, Easy is not hesitating to take the system serious and actually start training his ass in different things. Like, he's training himself and trying to get martial arts, like books. Of Mostly, he's wanting to read on martial arts. So, of course, he gets a couple of books from the library, mostly public library. He also gets, like, uh, the martial arts for defense and offense, uh, sword techniques, and other things. But, yeah, the system actually helps him a lot in actually reading. Because 
even though, uh, what's it called, he is not the fucking smartest tool, or mostly the brightest tool in the shed, he still kind of can use the system to make himself smarter, but yeah, by using the points to put it on the system. Of course, he has, I'll mention his points later, but for right now, I'm gonna just say he has 80 points because I haven't really calculated. Yeah, you see here, I'm not that, I don't really like calculating stuff, but yeah, I'm doing it for the EC, well, Virgil one, but for this one, I'm not... I'm going to probably do it off of my head, or probably I'll do it later, and I'll just say the total, whatever. But that's not the point. <clears throat> <clears throat> or you know what, let me just go off with the basis of the status of mostly the one that uh, Song has, but yeah. And like, what's it called, so lovely, but other than that, it's not the point. But we go into mostly, uh... Why is there many fucking ants? Uh, that's not the point. Most, uh, mostly we go into mostly Issei kind of just like going to school. Now, of course, he finally show, showed up after, well, a couple of days. He's been at home for like 10 days. Of course, mostly the girls has been worrying why Issei has been training nonstop or mostly hasn't been out of his room. Yeah, Issei hasn't really been out of his room for like 10 days. Of course, his parents got worried. But, of course, they were more curious in what Issei was doing. This is where his dad thought of making a perverted joke to his mom. Of course, this is where, well, the girls already left, but we go into Issei kind of getting out of his room. This is where, when Issei got out of his room, he's going downstairs. This is where, well, there's also one more thing. Issei did put, like, a little bit magical barrier around his room, so mostly the girls wouldn't be able to go inside, but yeah. He doesn't want to really be distracted by the girls. Because, well, two things. He has, well, multiple problems. He first has to deal with what they call Sir Orcus and the battle between them. But he also is going to have to deal with the evil monarchs. Now, the evil monarchs, I will mention who they will be. But you already have one clue in who will be. One, well, one of them will be, well, one of the destructions. Or monarch of destruction. If you already know who the monarch of destruction is, then good for you. Now... Not the point, let me begin into this, and let me just go back into what. But, we go into Issei kind of just going on with, well, training. This is where, well, he's trying to figure, well, not figure out, mostly we go, <sighs> I'm sorry, I forgot my, where I'm at. Shit, I'm kind of tired and right now losing where my state, uh, where I'm at. But we go into Issei going downstairs, and this is where, well, his dad is making a perverted joke while his mom is just smacking him in the fort in the back of the head and saying, Well, Ethan really had to show up, so maybe he's doing it. This is where Issei said, Yo, mom, dad, what are you two talking about? This is where when they kind of look up, they see Issei. Not just Issei, Issei looks a little bit different. He seems to got a little bit taller. Of course, this is where, well, he also became a little bit more handsome on his face, and this is where, well, you see, he's yawning. Of course, this is where he's scratching his chest because, well, yeah, he's itchy. This is where, well, his mom and mostly his mom and dad looks at him, surprised. And this is where Mika says, uh, uh, Issei? This is where he used to say, yo, it's been a while. <sighs> I'm kind of tired. Sorry for not kind of coming out of my room. I've been just training. This is where, well, Mika and Goro are just dumbfounded. They are just shocked and dumbfounded at them saying, See? This is where, well, they're just stuttering. This is where, well, he says, say, hello. Ah, oh, whatever. Mom, what's, what's for, uh, uh, what's food? <laughs> I'm hungry. I haven't really ate for 10 days. You can see that because I really have just stayed in my room training and working out. And I should drink some water, but that's not the point. I guess I just did a fasting or whatever the hell it's called, but whatever. This is where, well, Mika and Goro just nodded dumbly. And this is where Mika decides to make food, and this is where she kind of puts it right in front of Issei, and Issei just eats it all in an instant. My man became Luffy so fast, Lum. but yeah, it was gone in an instant, but yeah. Of course, that food was gone in just like a couple of seconds, not even a couple of seconds, it was just gone in an instant. This is where, well, mostly Mika, Goro are just shocked to see Issei just 
gone, the food disappear from existence, never, never appearing back again, but whatever. This is where, well, Mika makes more food for Issei, and this is where Issei just eats that also, second plate, gone. <laughs> this is where Issei said, I guess that's what happens when I haven't ate for, like, mostly 10 days, and mostly been training. Oops. <laughs> this is where, well, Mika kind of nodded dumbly, but yeah. Now, I should mention one thing, Issei did go in a dungeon in his room, just... For the fuck of it, but yeah, we went in an e rank dungeon just to test out the waters and how these dungeons work. He managed to kick this, uh, he managed to actually beat the shit out of something called a blue uh, lapis surface, or not blue lapis serpent, mostly a blue lapis serpent, a giant snake that he managed to kill and of course get a dagger, but yeah. Now the dagger seems to be like really good status. This is where, well, he says that, well, damn, this thing is. Interesting. Not the point. This is where, well, we go into Issei kind of just working, well, mostly kind of eating like three more plates and then just saying, well, I'm kind of full, mom. I'm gonna go to school finally after 10 days. Do you think, uh, this is where, well, Issei says, mom, do you think what to call uh, people at school will even recognize me no more? This is where, well, Mika says, recognize you? Yes, sweetie, of course I will recognize you. Who wouldn't recognize you? It's not like your me and your father decide not to recognize you and think you were a stranger for a second. This is where well you see sweatshots at his like mother's comments. Okay, never mind. It was probably a bad idea to talk to you. Okay. This is where well Issei is now kind of like getting ready, putting on clothes, but uh, he realized something. None of his clothes fit him no more. He is right now five eight. He used to be five seven, but he's now five eight, and since he's a little bit more lean and stronger, and it's kind of built like a, what's it called, a little bit built, he realized that none of his clothes is actually fitting him. He then face play up in the next scene. Ah, uh, wait, that reminds me. I'm sorry, Trek, but I'm gonna have to use your powers for a second. This is where, well, you say activates the sacred gear, and of course just uses boost to try to boost his like clothes to uh, kind of like, well, mostly see if that will actually like, like make the size grow, but of course it doesn't. Of course it doesn't. Mostly Issei is still an idiot in this way. Issei says, okay, that's just an idiotic move for me to do. That's not how it works. I thought if... No. Uh, Issei really thought of mostly when Sorosex kind of said, you know, if you use a little bit of your boost onto Aria's Opai, would it just grow or just don't think about it? This is where, well, Issei thought of the same thing. This is where, well, mostly Drake said, the fuck were you trying to do also? Who the hell are you? This is where, well, Issei said, Drake, it's me. You're an idiot. Not the point. Uh, let's see. This is where Issei goes into his, like, uh, mostly wardrobe and kind of checks anything that will actually fit him. And realizes that he finds a black button-up t-shirt. Fuck it. That's the only thing that he's wearing. A black button-up t-shirt. A black coat. Black pants. And black dressing shoes. God damn. This, is, this man is now looking like, what's it called? So, this is what closely kind of resembles, but yeah. Mostly he has also a black belt, but don't worry about that. This is where, well, we go into Issei kind of going downstairs. And this is where his parents say, I I Issei, what are you wearing? What about your school uniform? Issei switch up and says, uh, my school uniform doesn't really fit me no more. <laughs> this is where, or he's not 5'8", he's actually 5'9", but yeah. This is where, well, his parents switch up and just deadpan at mostly Issei. This is where, well, Issei says, uh, don't worry, I'll ask what's it called, Kaichu, if she will be able to kind of get my size again. <laughs> Issei swatch up, but yeah. This is where, well, most of his parents swatch up and say, okay, well, good luck, uh, sweetie. And also, if you get any more girls than just the girls that you have right now, um, we want more grandchildren, especially with that look. I wonder if the genetics will change. This where Issei says, yeah, probably, maybe, I have no clue, I'm, I'm just gonna go. <laughs> this is where Issei, like, leaves. This is where, well, mostly Drake says, that's quite interesting. I have never seen you be what they call embarrassed. Well, not embarrassed, mostly just act like, hmm, like you don't actually want a harem. Issei said, well, not really, I don't really want a harem no more. Wait, what? Drake said, in an inting, what do you mean you don't want a harem? What about the girls that you are with? Ah, uh, maybe they will understand, right? Kid, you're a dragon. No, we're the shadow dragon. Okay, well, shut the fuck up first. First of all, kid, have you not realized that all those girls like you? 
and yet you have decided to train for 10 days and not be with him. Who are you and what have you done with Issei? Issei kind of said in a dark menacing tone just to troll Drake in this weird well. Issei said, who's Issei? All I, if you really want to know my name, the name is Sanjin Wu. And I managed to take control of Issei's body. And now you're my partner for life. Sorry about that. But I guess there's no Issei no more. This is where Drake says, what the fuck? I knew you were a bastard. You're not the real Issei. He says, oh god damn it, Drake, just shut up for a second. This is where, well, Drake says, Par partner, is that you? Yes, I just came here to just troll you. Drake says, fuck you. He says, said, no thanks, I don't swim with dragons. This is where, or male dragons most of the time. This is where Drake says, fuck off, he say. He says, said, what, can I not just troll my friend, my buddy, my brother, and what? <laughs> this is where, well, Drake says, screw you, it's not funny. Oh no, it looked kind of funny. Fuck you. <sighs> but still, that's not the point. Why do you look like that and you don't look like, well, your regular scrawny self that usually gets hit it pretty easily and get knocked out pretty easily? Screw you. Uh, mostly he says this. Shut up, Drake. I just decided to start changing. Besides, how else are we going to be fear when we're the shadow dragon? That's why I decided to change. Just because... Drake says, so it's because you wanted to change my name. Shadow Dragon. What the fuck does that even mean? Issei say, oh, nothing. You don't need to worry about that. It's very easily, oh, well, not easily. Issei kind of has this little grin on his face. And this is where Drake says, you know something. You know something so much, brat, but you don't want to tell me. Why? I thought you said we were brothers. Issei says, oh, we are. Don't worry, Drake. I will tell you everything later. Until I figure out some things. But don't worry. I'll tell you some stuff. This is what Drake says. Screw you brat. He says that. Oh whatever Drake. This is where he says going to school. And of course this is where. Well he sees. Two perverted guys. Kind of running away from an army. Of well girls. Of course. Not just the candle girls. The swimming uh, club team. The cheerleaders. And other things. And this is where. Well they're rushing. They're like running away from that. Like whole group. Of course, this is where Catherine Moriyama's there. But not just what they call those three girl groups, so mostly those three kind of like, kind of like, uh, how should I say, sport groups of girls are actually chasing them. Mostly there's also the softball kind of team. There's also the female baseball team. And there's like other kind of like teams of girls kind of chasing the perverted duo being Matsui and Motohama. Issei kind of like looks at Matsui. For some reason, he has a strange aura. Same with Motohama having a strange aura of like some kind of ability. He, he, it mostly, let me say it again. He kind of realized one thing. It's similar to that of like Killua's and even his aura. Kind of showing like he, if they are monarchs. This is where, well, Issei says, I see. Probably latent potential. Hmm, quite interesting. Huh, maybe I'll talk to Killua like this later. But still, can I change perverts? Then again, I used to be a pervert, and now I'm looking like this. <sighs> Maybe I should stop them from actually dying, because mostly there will be a war of monarchs later, so I should probably stop that. This is where, well, Drake says, what do you mean, a monarch war? He says, oh, I wasn't thinking in the box, so let me actually do that right now. This is where Drake says, hey, don't ignore me. This is where he says, oh, I also found out how to block you. This is where he says, mental block. This is where Drake says, Issei! This is where he's screaming in Issei's mind, but of course Issei managed to block him. Issei will unblock him later, but right now he has to do something. Before the girls decide to kill two latent potential uh, monarchs, probably. Or they're probably just someone that has a sacred gear. He can't really tell, but for right now he will have to stop them. This is where, well, the two guys managed to trip and fall down. This is where they're saying, man, where's Issei? We need his help. This is where, well, mostly the girl says, too bad for you. Issei isn't here to stop you or stop us from actually killing you bastards. This is where, well, mostly the two uh, perverted guys kind of get switched up to their brown and like die. But of course, mostly when, uh, uh, what's it called? One of the girls from the swimming club was about to use a, like a metal pole to like, well, hit both of the guys in the head. Mostly the metal Paul was actually grabbing an ending, and of course, when she looks up to see who actually grabbed him, or mostly grabbed the metal pole, a boy with dark brown hair, and of course, his eyes kind of glowing for a second of blue color, 
kind of says, sorry about that, but I can't let you hurt my friends. You see where, well, Issei said it with such a somewhat menacing tone. But of course, mostly very menacing but calm tone. You see where, well, the two perverts kind of looked up and said, Issei, is that you? You see where Issei says, yeah, dumbasses, what do you think I look like? Do you think I look like some kind of supermodel? Yeah, M I might have changed. Not really. But that's not the point, you idiots. What the hell did he do to actually piss off an entire army of girls? You see where, well, mostly, uh, what's it gone? Motohama and Masui try to explain themselves to Issei, but they just keep rambling on, which Issei gets annoyed. <sighs> Issei decides to punch them both in the head to knock them out for a second because they have just been quite annoying. He just like, he woke up a, quite a while ago. He actually slept for about 14 hours because mostly the last thing that he did was a dungeon or mostly earring dungeon. And he just didn't want to deal with what's it called Motohama and what's it called Masui's rambling on bullshit right now. They seem to be freaking out about something, but this is where Issei doesn't really care that much. This, uh, this is where, well, we go into mostly, um, what's it called? Uh, mostly, Issei kind of looking up and seeing the swim, mostly the, the what's it called, girl that was able to like whack them with a metal pole. And of course, there's a girl with kind of brownish hair. Of course, she has a ponytail, and this is where, well, her eye color is, what's it called? This is where, well... Her name is Magona Ka Kakashima. This is where, well, um, Issei notices. Of course, her eyes color is actually purple, but yeah. This is where, well, she got a nice round kind of that's bigger, but not the point. Mostly, she kind of glares at Issei, and this is where Issei lets go of the middle, mostly middle pole in an instant. This is where Issei says, I can't really let you kill these two idiots because they're the only friends, well, male friends I have, unless you count Kiva. But not really. He's a pretty too much, but pretty boy, so I still don't count him that much. <sighs> but that's not the point. I can't really let you kill my two idiotic friends. This is where Mo uh, Mogi kind of looks and glares at Issei. This is where she also has a little tint of faint of blush on her face because Issei looks completely different. Now, of course, he's not wearing the school uniform, which actually kind of shocks most of the girls because most of the school uniform is just a whole basic blah 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 open color, uh, well, mostly having a red shirt, blah, 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 whatever. But, of course, he looks completely different. It's a work, man. Mostly, <clears throat> Mor uh, Morgan, uh, well, not Morgan, Morgi kind of just looks at, mostly, Issei and glares at him and says, those two perverted idiots, you know what they did? This is work, well, Issei says, no, not really. I haven't really been here in school for 10 days, so I have zero clue in what the hell they even do. This is work, well, she then, like, sighs, like, she takes a deep breath, and this is where she then says that those idiots decide to take what they call female clothes from mostly each of the sport teams. This is where he kind of looks at them, just blinking for a second. This is where he says, hey, those two? They managed to sneak into mostly multiple girls' classes and take the clothes at the same time. You're telling me. This is where, well, the girl kind of nodded. Okay, same time, same hour. Well, same everything you're saying yes these two 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 people managed to take how many groups are here one two three four five six seven eight nine ten eleven twelve twelve groups two people twelve groups your groups are all separate in different uh side of the schools this is where morgan is naughty of course this is where she kind of sounds dumb for a second right now but for some reason she still hasn't get it this is where, oh, he says, 12 out of, okay, 2 out of 12, I know that, it, well, I know for fucking sake, Matsui used to be a jock, he can run pretty fast, Matsui, the, well, not Matsui, well, Matsui, yeah, well, yeah, he was a jock, Motohama, on the other hand, is a nerd, who can barely run like hell unless he's going to die out of, <clears throat> well, mostly in gym class, he literally just dies after a while, unless you show him fucking, Whatever, he will probably like start running up and down, but still, even at their highest speed as being a pervert, they won't be able to run the speed of fucking light to get towards your class, or I mean, mostly the girls, your uh, swimming club, towards the candle class, then this class, or whatever. Unless they're hiding their speed, which is complete bullshit and random, because what the fuck, 
they can go to the light speed. If they can just go to the light speed, I feel like they wouldn't be perverts. Instead, they would have been like, I don't know, fucking superheroes. Or an emerald now that I think about it. Not the point. Uh, what's the hell? Two people. Go into 12 different classes. Do you not hear what you're saying most of the time? More, uh, more, uh, what's it called? He basically calls her from the last thing being, what's it called? Uh, Kaj Kakashima. This is where, well, Kakashima kind of just like blinks in a couple of seconds. All the other girls from the different classes actually look blinks because mostly it's like Issei grew a third head. This is where, well, Issei kind of looks at mostly Kakashima and says, How the fuck did they actually go from light speed? This is where Issei thinks in his head. There's no way in hell they managed to unlock their what's it called hidden potential. And if they can even go into light speed, I refuse to believe that's even the case. This is where, well, mostly Issei then goes back to speaking. Are you sure it wasn't other people? Actually, who even told you, who even told you this? Actually, no, better question. How do you even know it's those two perverts? You say, same hour, same time, same day. Of course, I haven't really been here for what's it called 10 days because I've just been training and working out. But that hasn't, never mind. This is where, well, most of the girls kind of like hear that he's been just training and working out. This is where they're confused on why he was been training. But this is where, well, he just says, that is not the fucking point. Actually, have you even checked our locker rooms, well, lockers, to check if they have the evidence? This is where, well, the girls kind of blinking at instant. This is where they kind of switch up and say, not exactly. Issei said, okay, then let's go toward our lockers. This is where Issei still drags him, but mostly drags him from the college and just getting towards our lockers. Now, of course, he kind of gets towards the lockers and sees, well, both of Matsui uh, and Motohama's lockers are together. Issei's locker is in the other side of the school because, well, fuck it. Mostly the school's luck is terrible for him, but whatever. This is where Issei kind of uh, really doesn't remember their locker combination or whatever. Issei says, hey, Masumi, Marahama, you awake? They're like, uh, uh. Issei says, oh, whatever. You can you can ask the school for another locker. This is where the girls are confused. And this is where Issei gets to the locker, like, mostly the handle. And of course, of course, it's not open because it's locked. Issei doesn't care. He just opens, well, both of them in an instant by using his own strength. Now, of course, using the system strength, because yes, he opens both of them in an instant and they just have magazines, or, uh, photos, and not photos of what's it called, the girls, well, what's it called, photos of like recently. <laughs> of course, mostly they're just photos of what's it called, whatever. Mostly of like videos and other things in this world. Well, Issei is swatch off in this world. Mostly Issei said, there's really nothing here. Are you sure you got the right kind of what's it called? Mostly people. Because I swear to God, even even though they're idiots, I wouldn't expect them to be that much of idiotics. This is where, well, one of the girls says, maybe they have them in what's it called? Their uh, house. Okay. Yes, that might be the case. But can't we just go ask the school for the camera system? And if they do have it, you can go fucking kill them. I don't care. I'm having such a headache right now. This is where Issei is kind of saying that out loud. This is where, well, the girls kind of understand. Because they can just ask Kaichu for mostly the camera system and other things. But yeah. This is where, well, we go into mostly the uh, president's office. This is where, well, Sona says... So, why is all the leaders from different female sports here to question in if they can see the cameras from their location? This is where, well, they say because they think they might have were about to kill two innocent perverts. This is where, well, Sona is confused, but this is where, well, Issei is starting saying, yo. This is where, well, Sona says, uh, what the, hey, what about the uniform? Why aren't you wearing the uniform? This is where she puts her kind of glasses up, kind of like going a little bit. And this is where, well, he says, uh, my uniform doesn't actually fit me no more. Since I became, what's it called? Since the last height I was, I was just like 5'7", now I'm 5'9". But that's not the point. I need new clothes. This is where, well, Sona sighs and says, okay, tell me your name. This is where he says, Issei Hyoto. This is where, well, Sona says, the fuck? The, the, what the? Huh? This is where, well... Mostly the girls are just still confused. Mostly the different sport uh, class girls. But this is where, well, he says, yeah, so I need clothes. <laughs> this is where, well, so now says, ah, you're giving me such a headache. First these girls and now you. He says, it's not my fault they gave me a headache more than you. 
I literally had to become a fucking detective to try to get, well, mercy from my two idiotic friends. But not the point. Can we just see the cameras? This is where, well, Sona decides to, like, pull up the cameras. And this is where, well, she then shows, like, the tape record, like, footage that was mostly the girls were hinted at, like, 12 o'clock. Mostly the two perverts kind of went to do that. And this is where, well... 12 o'clock on mostly on a Monday, but yeah, Monday, this Monday, because yeah, this is actually a Friday that Issei just came back on. And this is where, well, it shows not the two perverts, but it shows, well, other people. This is where, well, other people that are actually third years and some of them are actually, two of them are second years. This is where the girls are shocked to believe that these guys will actually be able to, well, be the culprits. Because some of them are supposed to be like good looking people, but not like good looking like Kiba. They're like in the different ranks, but yeah. This is where, well, Issei said, huh, well, that's interesting. Well, at least we find the true corpus. Ah, whatever. Now, if you don't mind me, I want to just go to my class now that I think about him. Well, maybe I should just get the uniform. And whatever. You can send me uh, send me the uniform toward my, uh, towards my house, right, Kaiju? Kaiju say, oh, but wait, wait, uh, but... This is where, well, Issei walks away. Of course, Issei is not actually going to his class. He's actually going to get revenge on the fact that these pricks tried to, well, sabotage his, well, two friends, well, life. Issei knows that this is might be a stupid case for him to do, but mostly he doesn't care. He has that weird protection attitude to protect his idiotic friends, but yeah. This is where, well, mostly for some reason he has a bad feeling that maybe he might get betrayed in the near future. So, of course, you'd rather have his two idiotic friends with him. But, yeah. This is where, well, Issa uses the system to kind of call upon someone. And this is where that someone is someone right now fishing. This is where, well, the person kind of says, yeah, hello. This is where Issa says, you already know who I am. Killer, on the other hand, says, yeah, I do already know who you are, Issa. So, what do you want? I want you to go to my school. What? Uh, which school? Kuo. Kuo. Uh, hi. I see. What do you want? I want you to help me out in beating the shit out of a couple of people. You don't mind just kicking the brakes off of some people. This will work well. Kilo says, not really. I don't care. Can that be a quest anyway? This is where uh, Kilo is like mostly in front of him. Pops up a system. Mostly the system just kind of like glitches a little bit. And says, beat the shit out of some people. This is where, well, uh, it gives out levels, and of course it gives out like a random gift box, but yeah, this is where, well, Issei also has a kind of like screen popped up, and this is where Issei says, that is quite interesting. Now I should mention one thing, Issei's like system screen is not blue, it's actually purple. Now Killua's screen is actually a blue. Like everyone who is actually using the system are, are either Monarch or what's it called, Evil Monarch. They will have a different kind of color of screen, but yeah, like a system screen, but yeah. Just depending on the Arnark they are, but yeah. This is where, well, we go into mostly Issei. Kind of like, what's it called? This is where, well, mostly just depending on the different monarchs, but yeah. But we go into Issei kind of like, well, being at the edge of school. Or mostly at the place of where these supposedly 10 corporates or mostly 12 corporates entirely would be at and this is where Kilo is kind of hiding the tree next to Issei and this is where well Kilo says it seems that you became a lot stronger and a lot taller now that I think about it Issei says yep so you want to help me out and be in the share of these people hell yeah I'm bored and besides the XP is not that bad I might level up a couple of like two times or something this is where well in that mysterious box I don't really mind it so whatever this is where Issei nodded now of course it worked well Mostly they look down, and of course they see the somewhat corpus appearing, and this is where, well, the guys started speaking and how the, mostly those two pervert idiots are going to die, and then they are supposed to uh, sabotage, what's it called, mostly Issei's life with the other girls. But of course, mostly with the ORC, like trying to sabotage them, and of course they were, well, they kind of talk about how they managed to get, kind of get the girls to kind of cheat on Issei. Or, well, trying to get them to cheat on him. But of course, they were, well, some of the girls are stubborn, but some of them might be able to. This is where, well, Issei hears it, and this is where Issei's eyes kind of widen, but he doesn't understand who will try to cheat on him. This is where, well, he doesn't feel Dragon's fault because mostly 
he still hasn't confirmed it, but yeah, he doesn't know what Dragonfall is actually, but yeah. This is where, well, Issei kind of looks at all of these people, this is where, well, he then kind of, uh, like, asks, well, mostly he kind of tells the system to give the, uh, put a screenshot right in front of him. And of course, he matches screenshot with using the system. And this is where, well, he has it somewhere in the storage and this is where Issei only uh, figure out how to do this in the system is because the system kind of reacted with Issei's motions that he wanted to kind of take a picture of something cool in one of the dungeons, but yeah. Kilo says, I can't believe you can actually do something like that. Yeah, the system reacts to mostly my emotions similar to that of like my sacred gear. Huh. So what do we do? Well, these guys kind of have some sacred gears and some of them have them activate right now. So want to beat the shit out of them either using our sacred gears or just using brutal strength. Kill what I say. Hmm. I guess we can go either way. It doesn't matter. Supernatural, monarch style, or just normal. Ah, then let's do it. This is where Issei and even Killua jumps down from the tree. Of course, landing on one of the, was it called, third years? Now, of course, Killua landing on one of the second years. And before one of the other second years can react and try to hit uh, Killua, Killua already stabbed this guy, mostly, like, stabbed this guy in the chest by his fingers. But this is where he doesn't pierce his skin, mostly, like, pokes at him really fast by hitting two, like, what's it called, pressure points. Just to paralyze the guy and fall down to the ground in an instant. While the other third years are confused to see what's called Issei. Issei says, surprise, wasn't expecting to see me, the one of the leaders of the perverted trio, isn't it? This is where, well, they say, wait, you're Issei, this is where Issei clock one guy in the head, right now, knocking his shit out. This is where another guy tries to attack him by using an extendo line from his, like, hand, or mostly multiple, like, wire, metal wires from his hand to try to attack him. This is where Issei noticed that this guy has a sacred gear, now, of course, uh, he doesn't know which sacred gear it is, but it's not a long chitis, which Issei managed to duck underneath pretty fast because his eyes actually can see, oh, well, the attacks coming really fast by his sense of other things, and this is where Issei then grabs the lines and just pulls this guy towards him and smashing him into another guy that was behind, well, next to the tree. This is where both of them gets clocked into a tree. Ugh. They are knocked out easily. This is where, well, his sacred gear disappears, but mostly, well, we go into mostly an army of girls kind of rushing, well, not rushing, mostly going towards the somewhat culprits and even what's it called, Sona getting there. This is where, well, when they're kind of getting there closer, they see a battle, a uh, battle kind of happening. Now, of course, it worked well. Mostly, the girls can't see the sacred gears from far away because Killer was right now easily taking out the guys with sacred gears that are awoken. And the other guys that don't have sacred gears, Issei is right now knocking the fuck out of them, smashing one guy to the ground, grabbing another guy from the throat, and then throwing his ass into a well. Another dude smashing them both down to the ground. Killer was easily kind of just like appearing right in front of them, kicking them right in the face, stabbing them right in the like pressure point near their sacred gear activate one of them had an eye sacred gear where it allows him to kind of like see the future but it isn't like almighty or anything it's just like see the future like gets a glimpse of the future and he then realized that he is fucked both Killua and his uh Issei appear right in front of what they call the person and says let's see if you can dodge this motherfucker this is where the, the person says wait hold up look at <laughs> He gets his fucking face smashed in by both Killua and Issei's fist, smashing into the tree. Now, one of the guys managed to get up and says, You but This is where both, uh, well, that one guy smashes into the guy, into the tree. This is where the tree cracks and falls down. Issei say, I think we broke the tree in accident. Ha! Huh. Well, they don't really smash into the tree. The tree doesn't break mostly. It just kind of hits, well, puts a huge dent into the tree. This is where, well, Issei and Killua, they weren't using monstrous strength like their monarch strength or anything. They were mostly just using basic human strength. And this is where, well, Issei says, I think we murdered them. Killua says, I don't really care. This is where the screen pops up and saying, victory over the, well, mostly victory over the culprits. You have managed to knock out the culprits, making them unable to be, well, well, mostly put them in justice or bring them to justice. The justice of two perverts. This is where, well, Issei just stretches it. Ah, oh, that felt great. I don't know why, but I felt like punching the shit of them. Killua says, I don't really care that much, but damn, that felt great. I have been a while since I've been in battle. So, yeah, I'm battle with humans. So, yeah. Yeah, that is true. I've been only in battle with 
weird creatures most of the time. He's just stretching out his hand and other things. And this is where when the army of Kana Cross actually appear, mostly the 12 kind of like groups and also Sona. Sona and Sobaki being there and this is where, well Sanji is not there, but mostly Sona goes, <coughs> Kyoto and uh, I don't know who you are, but mostly, what the hell did you two do? You see, right now, right now kind of like freezes up. Well, yeah, I said right now like twice. But he freezes up and this is where Kilo also freezes up and this is where both of them kind of just turn back around. Kilo having his hand kind of tried to cover up his face and this is where, well, mostly Issei said, um, justice? <laughs> this is where Issei smiles and just like, please, please let this fucking work. This is where, well, Kilo is saying, fuck. This is where, well, Sona says, you realize I was going to suspend them anyway without you kind of intervening. You said, said, um, well, it seems that the time for me to go to class seems to be almost over. So I'm going to just go. Well, bye. That's where Issei starts kind of walking away behind the tree. That's where Killer Boy just already running like hell. He jumped onto the tree and like jumped over the fence and just started running. This is where, well, Sona says, Issei, don't you fucking leave. This is where Issei says, <laughs> Issei jumps on the fucking fence trying to like climb up. He managed to climb up and says, well, I'm out. I'm going to the cafe. Bye. This is where he just runs awesome. This is where, well, Sona sighs and says, are you fucking serious? This is where, well, for some reason, the girls down from the different clubs, like Mariama, Catherine, and what's it called, mostly, like, uh, mostly, what was her name? Morgana Kakajima from the swimming club team, and then other girls from different teams kind of had, like, a little bit of a blush on their face, a tint of blush, even Sabaki and Sona, because Issei looks completely different, and he wasn't hesitating to beat the shit out of people. This is where, well, Sona is just still so damn confused with Issei's different look, but she wishes it was actually mostly her and him together and not Rias, but yeah. But we go into Issei kind of going outside and just going around the school to get to the ORC, but yeah. He needs to kind of talk to Kaichu about taking three months of mostly school off so he can train, so he can actually become strong enough in the system. Once he level up to a good uh, level and stop so he can fight against Sir Orcus and then fight against the evil Marnus our actual upcoming battle. But yeah. But before going to see Kaichu, he went to go see his two friends. Being in the nurse office, but yeah. This is where, well, we go into mostly easy going into mostly seeing his two friends. Now, of course, he goes to check on the bed that both of them are at. And of course, where, well, his eyes are glowing blue for a second, mostly Issei's eyes. And of course, he sees something that he's actually surprised to see. Mostly, we go into Masui's POV. Masui, one of his palms are actually having this like weird looking sun pattern on his kind of palm. And when he goes to Motohama, he sees a moon crest. Now, of course, it worked well. Issei is trying to think in what they exactly have, but this is where, well, mostly someone appeared next to him, and this is where, well, it was none other than Sanjin Wu, but being in ghostly dark figure. This is where, well, he says, what the hell? God damn, you scared the shit of me. This is where Song kind of says, yo, sorry, but not the point. It seems that you managed to discover other monarchs. You would already discover it was a god, mostly Killua, well, being the monarch of Storm, slash Stunner, whatever you like to call it. But mostly these two actually have two different powers. So mostly the guy with glasses has the monarch of the moon. He's the monarch of the moon. And of course the other guy is none other than the sun monarch. Well, the mar yeah, the monarch of sun. Since you're the monarch of shadow and close to death, they are the monarch of sun. And of course they are close to being mostly somewhat gods. <clears throat> then again, you, you're also close to being a god also. But... It, that also reminds me, you know when you did the whole system thing that you wanted to put up when we kill what to help you? You see, not it. It might have also gave them towards them. So those two might also have the system. So just leave them a note or something or maybe text them later about meeting up. And if they do have the system and they, if they're trying to hide it from you, just say that you also have the system. I can't believe you actually your two idiotic friends had actually the system. 
Which is surprising and cool at the same time, but at the same time, like, eh. I was like, I was actually expecting like better people to have it, but not the point. I'm not saying Killua is not that bad to for him to have it, but I don't really care. So yeah, at least you have more alliance when you're going to have to fight against the evil monarchs. Issei says, "Oh yeah, I fucking fucking question you about that asshole." This is where Issei gets annoyed at mostly Song. Song says, "Oh what? Uh, give me a break, kid. I wasn't expecting the system to I don't know fucking put uh how should I say." More monarchs, and some of those monarchs are good, and some of them are evil. I wasn't expecting that to happen. Leave me alone, kid. Also, I don't know if the rulers are going to be here. This is where, well, you say, say, what happened to your dimension timeline? With the rulers, uh, especially. This is where, well, the rulers are, could be anyone. Most of the rulers are there to actually protect humanity. Think of it like the angels, and mostly how they're trying to protect humanity. And you know how the devils usually don't like some like humanity, you know, they were try to enslave them. Or mostly like the fallen just destroying them. And that's how monarchs are somewhat. They're an ancient type of race where mostly they hate other species. But yeah. I see. Well, it seems that mostly if I have to fight against the evil monarchs, I'm kicking the brakes off of them. At least you have the good uh mostly the good idea to beat the shit out of them instead of like talking to them. Well, other than that, well, I should be going back towards the Shadow Dimension. If you need anything, you can always call me or whatever. Also, I have noticed that you have been trying to ignore your dragon and from telling him about the system. Why is that? He says, says the better that Drake doesn't know, the better that I will explain it later. I don't actually want to actually reveal that I became stronger without well, him. I want to kind of say that I at least want to get stronger without him most of the time. I see. So you wanted to start from the basics and get yourself strong enough so you can challenge the Red Dragon Emperor for whatever. Yeah, that's something like that. <sighs> whatever. I'll be going then. This is where Song disappears into shadow. And of course, where it will, Issei then looks down and sees his two friends. This is where it will. He then leaves a letter and both of them next to them just so they won't freak out later. But yeah. This is where it will. Mostly he leaves them in their coats. And this is where it will. Issei walks away from mostly the nurse's office. This is where, well, someone actually noticed him, and this is where Issei says, You can come out, Aika. I notice you. This is where, well, Aika kind of, like, eeps a little bit, but this is where Aika comes out and says, Hey there, uh, mostly, uh, uh, black hair boy. This is a dark brown idiot. This is where Issei said. This is where, well, mostly Aika seems, Huh, dark brown. Interesting. Um... Can I know in who you are before I call the cops or something? Issei says, you're a moron, Aika. It's me, Issei, Hyoto. Get that through your fucking thick head or did you fucking get dry cum in your ears? I mean, yeah, dry, yeah, you get the point. This is where, well, mostly Aika was embarrassing and instant. This is where, well, she then kind of just like said, no, I don't have that in my ears. Prick. This is where, well, Issei kind of chuckles at it a little bit. This is where Aika says, but that's not the point. Hey, wait, 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 wait. You said you were Issei. That's in impossible. This is where, well, Issei says, think of it being a more impossible or impossible. Who cares? I just trained for 10 days and just came back, uh, came back on Friday. The only reason I came back is just because I want to have a three month kind of alone time by myself. And that means I just want to train more. But that's not the point. Then again, Aika, how's your, what's it called, aunt doing? This is where Aika's face becomes red and say, how do you know that I'm a, a fox? Oh, or mostly a yokai, fox, spirit, whatever. Oh, it's easy. I can't, what's, what's the come? I can tell. It doesn't matter in what you are. I can always tell. Do you forget then what I uh, what I am? This is where, well, Aika says, a devil. This is where he says, I mean, yeah, 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 you can call me a devil. Uh, but I'm also a dragon. The Red Dragon Emperor, right? This is where, well, we'll see Aiken nodded. Already knowing that Issei is the Red Dragon Emperor. And she sighs because she couldn't get the Red Dragon Emperor towards the Yokai side, but yeah. But at least they have a good relationship with what's it called the Devil, so the Devil's Red Dragon Emperor, and blah blah blah. Issei says, Oh, Aika, before I go, I should mention one thing. Issei activates his sacred gear. I should mention one thing. I am no longer the Red Dragon Emperor. 
But I am the Shadow Dragon Emperor, being a different type of Dragon Emperor entirely. Now, you don't need to know what I am entirely, but you just gotta know this one time. I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna say one thing. You're pretty adorable. This is where, well, I guess face becomes all red and an instant. What are you going on about? This is where Issei chuckles and says, Well, I should be going by, Aika. This is where, well, Aika kind of grew her teeth and just wasn't expecting Issei to call her adorable, uh, adorable but yeah. But Issei isn't just like flirting a little bit. He kind of likes Aika from the beginning, but mostly he never did let his like two perverted friends say he actually liked her, but yeah. This is where, well, Issei is kind of going towards the ORC, and this is where Drake kind of comments saying, Hey, Issei. He says, oh shit, I forgot, I, I forget that even if I activate you, the mental block link is actually cut off. Oh shit, not the point, brat. Why did you show her that? I have no clue. For some reason, I always had a little small crush on her. So yeah, I see. So if you didn't join up with the devils, instead you'll be, well, both of you, mostly her, mostly that perverted glasses girl, and you would have been fucking each other's brain without trying to save Rhea's grimmery. This is where he says, says if, when you put it like that, I guess you're right. This is where, well, mostly Drake says, oh, come on. Now that I think about it, you two would have made a perfect couple. This is where, well, he says, says oh, shut up for a second. Let me just go to Rhea's. Besides, oh, no, but I have the worst feeling that going to the ORC would screw me over or something. But, yeah. Oh, it can't be that bad, kid. Maybe not. Hmm. Whatever. I'll be going then. It's all right. Well, Issei kind of will get towards what's it called? Mostly the ORC pretty fast. And this is where Drake says, "How the fuck? How the fuck did you get this fast towards the ORC? You didn't even teleport. You just fucking use speed." Issei, I need explainment and fucking answers. This is where Issei says, "Ugh." Well, time to ignore you, Red Dragon. This is where I'm mostly purple dragon. This is where Drake says, and I also need fucking answers for the fact I'm a purple dragon and no longer the red dragon. Issei, you're going to answer all my damn questions. This is where, well, Issei said, well, time to go inside. This is where Issei, before going inside, for some reason, he had this weird kind of sense and dread of not going inside. But this is where Issei just decides to go anyway. This is what, what he sees inside. Mostly it's nothing. It's mostly everyone kind of like talking and patiently other things, but this is where, well, Issei goes inside. But for some reason, he like casts this weird vision that it's a bad idea to go inside. Of course, he goes inside anyway, and this is where, well, when Rias looks up and says, Issei, where have you been for 10 days? This is where, well, he says, I can't believe you actually saw me through my appearance, but that's not the point. I've been training and doing push-ups and kind of doing something called fasting where I, I kind of starved myself for 10 days. And other things, yeah. But I, I look different, don't I? Well, it's a said kind of. This is where, well, mostly Rhea's kind of glares at him for a second. And of course, this is where she has a little small blush. Well, not, no, 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 no. Issei uh, didn't actually go inside kind of looking like mostly Sandra and Wu somewhat. He mostly had an illusion just so they won't freak out most of the time, but yeah. This is where, well, Issei kind of noticed Rhea's kind of glaring at him, saying, Where have you been for 10 days? Issei said, Training. Why? This is where, well, Rhea sighs and says, Just tell me when or where you have been for 10 days. I'm worried about you. This is where she said. This is where, well, Issei said, Yeah, I'll tell you. Yeah, whatever. This is where, well, Drake says, I don't know why you put the illusion. I don't want them to freak out. Besides, I actually want to show her when I get much more stronger. This is where, well, Drake kind of like, Whatever, just kind of a whatever I kind of sleep for a second. And this is where, well, Issei is just talking to Reyes and the others. And of course, this is where, well, mostly Raffle's mother kind of appears, saying that she wants mostly the Red Dragon Emperor to protect her little, what's it called, Raffle Chan. And of course, this is where, well, mostly Raffle's blushing and ending. But of course, this is where, well, Ross and Weiss is there, of course, just seeing this. This is where, well, Mostly, what's it called? So, uh, what's it called? Rias is kind of seeing how Issei is interacting with mostly Raffle's mother. Of course, this is where, well, Rias kind of has this, like, for some reason, hurting her heart. And this is where she then questioned Issei. And what is he, or mostly, what is, what's it called, he to her? This is where, well, Issei says, you're president. Of course, I'll protect you. 
This is where, well, he goes towards mostly everyone else. And this is where, well, she then questioned and what is he entirely to her. This is where Issa says, your president and I will protect you always. Like, duh, what, what the hell am I going to answer? This is where Rhea snaps. And this is where, well, Rhea says, damn it, you fucking idiot. Why are you such an idiot? This is where, well, Issa said, what the hell did I do? This is where, well... Issa, for some reason, has a worse feeling, but this is where, well, Rhea says, I knew it. I should have just taken the fucking offer from what's it called, Ray, uh, Rayan. Rayan is one of the guys that mostly Issa remembers beating the shit out of what's it called, the 10 corporates in those two second years. And this is where, well, mostly she then explains saying that I should have taken Rayan's freaking offer. Me and Akuno should have just taken it. You're clearly an idiot towards love. This is where, well, Reason explains that mostly Ozzy and Irina should have just taken the also offer. Zenobio didn't took it because mostly Zenobio is still dense in love, but yeah. And this is where she just thinks that that guy was kind of weak and whatever. But mostly she then goes on that this and this and even Koniko would have like, liked to have that person. But they refused because they were kind of loyal, think that Easy would actually kind of, well, do this. But then this is where, well, she then regrets the fact that she broke up the marriage between Riser and this and that. This is where, well, she luckily did kind of kiss that one boy named Rain to kind of say that maybe if things don't work out with Issei and her in the near future. And this is where, well, Issei says, wait, what did you do? This is where, well, mostly Reyes kind of just realized what she just said. She was in a panic and this is where, well, and she then sees Issei's eyes become darker and mostly it's like hair kind of shadow his like face. And this is where Reyes says, wait. Issei, I, I, this is where Issei, like, slaps her hand away, and this is where Issei says, don't you dare touch me. This is where, well, Issei's aura starts kind of, like, erupting from his body. A dark, shadowish, sinister aura. This is where, well, Issei's eyes become blue, and this is where his hair becomes black. Of course, the delusion is breaking off, and this is where, well, Issei said, I only came here to ask you to go on a three-month time skip for myself to train. So I can fight against Sir Orcus. But you, you saying over here that you would actually rather cheat on me even though I couldn't confess because you literally just stopped me from confessing really pisses me off. Luckily, I didn't confess. I was in love for I was in love with you for well a couple of seconds. Now I hate you. I hate you and everyone here except for Zenovia. Irina, I also hate you. Because you were actually willing to cheat on me. Just because mostly of her perverted antics. Zenobia, I kind of forgive you. You didn't cheat because you're still stupid in love. But whatever. Uh, this is where, well, Issei then glares at mostly Ozzy and says, I saw you as a little sister. I wouldn't really care if you went out with another person. Because you're like a little sister. But the fact that you were willing, if we would have went on a day, you were willing to go to cheat really pisses me off also. This is where, well... He then sees Akuna and just glares at her and saying, Yeah, you, I don't really care, but pretty much I helped you in your freaking whole bullshit thing and you're willing to cheat on me also. Luckily, I never fucking admitted my feelings. Instead, I'd rather throw them in the trash. Because fuck feelings. I don't really care. And Kiba, you shut the fuck up. I don't want to hear it from you from someone who believes that he knows what the girls are feeling. Oh, uh, no. Fucking understand how the guys are feeling. No, you understand how the girls are feeling, not the guys. Because you're, yeah, whatever. This is where, well, you then glares at Gasper and says, You, on the other hand, you don't even know what the hell is happening. So shut up, Gasper. This is where Gasper says, y Yes, he says. This is where he then kind of glares at what's called Rasa Weiss or uh, and This is where he says, You two didn't do anything, so I don't really care. <sighs> I'll be leaving. I'll be taking my three month uh, day off, and I will return to fight against Sir Orcus. After that, I'll be going off to whatever doing. But other than that, I'll be leaving. This is where Rias tries to grab Issei's hand, but this is where Issei's shadowy pressure right now stops her. Issei says, don't you dare touch me. I'll rip off your hand in an instant, if you even dare touch me in an instant. This is where Issei also tells Konako to fuck off, because mostly Issei says that he was willing to help her out with her freaking NECA model powers, blah, 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 bullshit. But really, she only cares about, what's it called, the fact that mostly she's like her sister and wanting, what's it called, children with whatever. This is where, well, 
Issei then says that uh, Kuroka is a, m- a more better Nakamaru because she's always in control, self-control, even though she's happily always horny for mostly either the Red Dragon or mostly, yes, the dr- Red Dragon. And, of course, she'd rather have kids with him. This not work well. Issei says at least she's fucking loyal and, well, mostly honest in what she wants. You, on the other hand, is not really honest in what the fuck you want. So, whatever. I'll be leaving. This is where, well, everyone was trying to stop him. Keep up right now, Pierce, right in front of him. He's trying to stop him, but this is where Issei pulls out a dagger in front of him. And this is where Issei says, move out of the way, Kiba. Or I'll make you move in an instant. Kiba says, I'm sorry, but you need to at least calm down and talk to everyone. What do you mean that you're going? Issei says, move. This is where Kiba says, Issei. This is where Issei cuts him in an instant in his chest. This is where Kiba goes, this is where an effect of poison and paralyze appears, and also bleeding. This is where Kiba falls onto the ground, not un- well being unable to move. This is where well, Kiba's like, ta, ta. this is where Mosi is going to be on the other's one in their eyes. This is where Issei says, "I told you to fucking move. Now move, you idiot." This is where Issei just kicks him right in the stomach, launching him to the wall and smashing into the wall. <coughs> this is where Issei says, "I don't give a damn if you put me straight." I don't care if you tell your brother that I became a stray. Tell whoever. I don't give a damn. Actually, I'll still fight uh, Sir Orcus. But even if the devil thinks I'm a stray, they can fuck off. Because I wouldn't care that much. This is where, well, Issei walks away without I care in the world. And of course, he disappears with the blinding speed that he has. Kiba was so shocked. He couldn't even react from Issei's speed. He didn't even use the sacred gear, and yet he was faster than anything. This is where, well, Rius paused out crying and breaking in tears, realizing what the hell she just said, what what she just admitted to, and what she just did. And this is where, well, she said, Issei, I'm sorry. This is where Akuno is just dumbfounded and shocked. This is where Akuno fell down also. Every girl is crying except for, well, Zonobi is actually looking at, the, looking at them with such a disgust look somewhat. Even what's it called, Russell Weiss, and even what's it called, uh, Raffle? Raffle just uses a magic circle to kind of go back to her, what's it called, place, because she just heard something disgusting. Of course, Russell Weiss asked if she can come along, and even Zenobia, which mostly, uh, Raffle didn't really mind, but yeah, they went back to the Phoenix house, but yeah. This is where, well, Gasper and Kiba were just dumbfounded. K- uh, Kiba's right now coughing up blood, but yeah, thanks to the poison. This is where, well... He see, like, gets out of the school kind of premise, but before kind of leaving, he sees what's called mostly the 12, mostly, like, leaders of, like, the different sport girls. Even what's it called, Aika being there. And, of course, they were, well, they're there kind of just looking at mostly the gates. They're, like, thinking to, like, ditching and leaving because mostly they're bored out of their mind with school. And, of course, they didn't really get to beat the shit out of what's it called, look, somewhat corporate perverts, but yeah. And, of course, the two perverts are still knocked out. But, of course, Issei did leave them a message using the system to try. Well, he would have left them a message. But this where he then calls Kiba just to check on his two perverted friends and tell them about what exactly they have. So, Killua got informed with the fact that they have the sun. One of them is a sun monarch and the other one is a moon monarch. This is where Killua nodded and says, got it. I'll help them out. This is where, well, Issei says, well, I'm going to go on a three-month freaking uh, training skip, hidden in far away, because I need to get stronger so I can fight against the destruction monarch, being that of the dragon of monarchs, or monarch of dragon. This is where, well, Kilo and and says, yeah, you're going to have to do that. You're going to have to get stronger. Yeah, I know. This is where, well, Issei kind of sees what the call some of the girls thinking of touching and other things. Issei didn't really care, just walked past him. This is where Issei had a very strange and powerful aura towards him, which actually scared most of the girls that can actually feel aura and also magical pressure, which also scared the shit out of mostly Aika and Insane. This is where, well, mostly they see Issei about to like walk towards the gates, and of course, instead of just jumping over them, he just destroys them instantly by using the dagger that he still has. This is where, well, Issei didn't really care about the magic kind of seal that it had, and this is where Issei starts walking away. This is where the girl kind of like looks towards Issei, right now confused, so you managed to like get outside and see Issei walking away. This is where, well, Issei really didn't care if he showed off some of the skills. Like, what the hell is, does he care about it? It's a normal dagger for more, well, 
for a normal person, it looks like a normal dagger, so yeah. This is where, well, Issei is starting to walk away until mostly Aika kind of calls upon Issei's name and say, Issei. This is where Issei turns around, one of his eyes is glowing blue, and this is where Issei says, what the hell do you want? This is where, well, Aika gets scared, and this is where she then tries to uh, stoic her uh, mostly fear and kind of walk closer, and this is where, well, Aika is feeling more death pressure from Issei, and this is where Aika says, what happened? Why do you look so angry? Issei kind of just chuckles and says, Oh, nothing. I guess you can just say that I found out some horrible news from the ORC. Also, if you're thinking to join it, I suggest you don't. Because they're nothing but just freaking sluts that dare to uh, well, cheat on other well people. Even if people didn't confess to them fast enough. Or the fact that the fact they even admit to be cheating on other people. Ah, I don't really care. I'll be going. I won't be here in school for three months. I think I'm just going to take off what's it called a vacation. Well, other than that, I'll be leaving. This is where, well, I can say, wait. Uh, Issei, I... Issei says, I don't want to hear it. I'm just going to be leaving, okay? This is where, well, Issei disappears in an ending using what's called a shadow, what's it called, exchange. Well, he doesn't have shadow exchange just yet, but this is where Issei just walks away and disappears in just a blink of speed. This is where, well, mostly all the other girls are confused, and this is where they question Aika and what the hell they talked about. Aika said that mostly it seems maybe the ORC girls kind of probably cheated on him. This is where, well, they're confused, but with who? This is where, well, uh, Aika managed to hear that mostly 12 people managed to cheat, or mostly had a doing mostly 12 people that he just beat up with this recently this is where well the girls kind of wind their eyes it was the 12 kind of culprits and they were surprised that mostly Rias and the others would cheat on mostly Issei or they th they thought they had a relationship but mostly they were highly wrong because Issei and them didn't really have a relationship but yeah like uh was called like a romance relationship just said but mostly Issei hearing that they will actually cheat on him from the fact that he's just a red dragon emperor and blah 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 yeah, that hurt him. Of course, the dude Dragonfall would have appeared, but the system blocked Dragonfall from actually appearing. Instead, it just got erased. And this is where Issei's feelings became darker. But of course, this is where, well, he actually just disappeared. He went to his house and told his parents that he was going to go on a three-month training thing. And of course, uh, told them about how the girls actually admitted to be able to cheat on him with other guys. And of course, if they, what's it called? If his parents still wants to have him as daughter-in-laws, sure, that's the thing. But he's no longer their son, if that's the case. This is where mostly his mother decides to agree and decides not to, will have them as daughters anymore, and will actually tell them to pack up and go away. This is where, well, he say not it, but before leaving, he actually coats a what's it called necklace, like two necklaces, and gives them one to his mother and one to his father. Now, they have the shadow kind of like energy, a shadow monarch energy, just so mostly this energy will protect them from devils, fallen angels, and angels from the fact that they might be trying to be target or something from Rias' rage or whatever, psych uh, psychotic path or whatever. Those were both of them nodded. They knew about the, well, they don't know much about the supernatural, but Issei was the one to tell them. Now, of course, Issei says that he's going on a three month training skip far away, and yeah. This is where, well, mostly his parents nodded, and this is where Issei walks away, and teleports away, using a little bit of magic. Now, of course, this is where, well, Issei, with the, Issei kind of noticed something with the system. The system asked him if he wants to get rid of the evil pieces, which Issei didn't hesitate. He said yes, and the evil pieces were launched out of his body, but of course, this is where the system actually kept him alive. Issei was actually transformed into becoming more like the shadow of Vessel. And actually being able to contain more power. This is where, well, Issei would have died, but since he's already God of Death, he didn't really die. He instead of wake up with his eyes being purple. But that's not the point. This is actually when I leave it off for what's it called part two of what if Issei was like Sanjin Wu. But other than that, bye, see you, and yeah.